There's no doubt going into last season that the Golden State Warriors wanted to be a bigger basketball team. And they accomplished that by acquiring David Lee from New York. But as the season progressed, the Warriors found another player who not only helped them get bigger, but also protected the rim. I'm Tim Roy with this Warriors.com exclusive, and today we're talking about F.A. Udo. When the Warriors got to draft day, they were very excited, but they had to wait. A summertime wrist injury would sideline Udo. No summer league, no training camp. Finally, on December 10th against Miami, F.A. Udo was ready to go. And after that, Golden State found out what a big presence he could be inside the paint. He would end up leading all rookies in block shots per game. And when he was on the floor, the Warriors were a better team. My go-to move is the hook shot, but also being able to mix that in that with the, how physical it is in the NBA paint, just facing up real fast. Probably coming back earlier than expected. You know, I was supposed to be out until January 15th, but you know, really working hard and, and getting back earlier. And as a team, when we beat the Lakers, I mean, that was that was a real highlight. You know, I heard it was like five years or so. This is the last time we beat him, but I was, I was real big. Gasol goes to work right side. Leads it blocked by Udo. These numbers don't reflect the story of Epe Udo. When he was on the floor, the Warriors were better in their overall plus minus, and they were better as a team. He certainly knows how to protect the rim, as evidenced by the block shots. And for Epe Udo, he's only scratching the surface. He has tremendous upside, good strength, and has provided the Warriors a much needed piece inside the paint. They, they bring it every time we're at home, you know, and we just feed off their energy. Especially a player like me, you know, blocking shots and they go crazy, then we just all get going. Started early, before the season, when players came back, you know, I guess they said, you know, more, more than the last few years, you know, more of the players came back to actually play before um, training. So, you know, we had new faces, so, you know, getting in early, playing with each other, that was good, and then doubling it up with the fact you're going out to eat at night times with, with other teammates, so that was great. Bright future, you know, starting to build momentum, you know, all the pieces are falling in place right now, you know, as we're playing. You know. Take a couple weeks off and then come back and you know hit it hard and get stronger. You know. As you can see, you know, I'm not there yet. You know. After the, the first time, I didn't really get to lift or do much developing in my body. So really work on my leg strength, my core, and my upper body, and then just work on my overall game on the court. 